What's going on, YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be, and welcome to Cookie Run Kingdom. This is a brand new hero collector slash kingdom city empire management game, but don't get scared. Um, this game uh, just came out a couple of days ago. I apologize for the delay. Um, when the game first launched, there were some, you know, some pretty bad performance issues, but the game development team has already deployed a patch that have fixed all of my issues. So let's go ahead and jump on in as we always do, starting off with the cookies that you can collect. So as you might assume, all of the characters in this game are cookies. I guess gingerbread cookies. So you're probably thinking, you know what? This game is not getting FG3000 stamp of approval when it comes to the heroes that you can collect. And if you're thinking that, you must not know about FG because of course this game is gonna get my stamp of approval. I'm always looking for something to collect that I cannot collect anywhere else. And when's the last time, where's the last place I've been able to collect cookies, my friend? Besides my kitchen last night, it were some gluten-free Oreos, they were fantastic. But anyway, back to this game. I am really liking the designs of these characters and it kind of goes to show you that not everything has to be hyper-realistic, 3D or anime or anything like that. Sometimes simple Simple designs really get that endearing nature across better. And I really, I, I really do like all of the characters in this game. They all look fantastic. And I am not mad at the simple design choice that they went with because they knocked it out of the park. All right, so those are the characters. If we jump over here to adventure, this is gonna house some of our main gameplay modes. So you have world exploration, which is gonna be your tried and true campaign mode. You have your bounties, which is like a, a daily resource grind, which will allow you to get skill powders for your characters. You have an arena. And then later on, you will have guild battle coming soon. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Hopefully I don't get too embarrassed. Um, as you guys know, I tend to save all of my currency until my first impressions video. That way I can do a summon session at the end. And it was rough in this game, man. I gotta, I gotta let you know, using these like early free gingerbread cookies, it wasn't good for FG. I've been getting spanked, <laughs> but combat. So I saw this game compared to Princess Connect and I, I see, I see why they were saying that because most of the strategy really comes down to the cookies that you bring into combat, the formation that you're setting up, the strategy that you set up before combat. Once you're in combat for the most part, you're just gonna let them fly, <laughs> all right? You're just gonna let them um, auto one times five speed and just let them run, literally let them run. And I do really, really like that. I think the game would have been, you know, a little bit more boring if all of the cookies just stayed on one side of the screen and it was like a traditional turn-based kind of affair. I like the fact that they're always like charging forward. So although I predict that most of your combat here in Cookie Run Kingdom is pretty much gonna be kind of hands-off as you kind of enjoy the show, I do think that, you know, combat is visually stimulating enough to keep your attention even though you're really not doing any, you know, intricate interactions on a minute-to-minute -minute basis, if that makes sense. So, so overall, I'm fine with combat, but do know what you're getting into if you're looking for something a little bit more you know strategic and hands-on this game is definitely not it and like i said it's very reminiscent to the overall gameplay flow of princess connect so there you go that's going to be your traditional campaign mode under world exploration um like i mentioned earlier um the bounties are just a way for you to do a daily resource grind for skill powders and these are going to allow you to increase the power of your skills and of course good old-fashioned pvp arena you know find someone on the list that you think you can defeat don't worry about that i got beat up i wasn't ready <laughs> <laughs> we'll find someone on the list that you think that you can clap and jump on in. There is no manual interaction here whatsoever. So even if you wanted to play this off of auto, you could not. Um, it's completely automated when it comes to PVP. And we get a nice preview of some of the other cookies here. Dude, I can't wait to summon. Like I, it was hard for me to not to summon, dude. It was really hard for me not to summon. <laughs> I want some new cookies, man. So there you go. FG LOL defeats Lady Pa. Take that. So the game is called Cookie Run Kingdom for a reason. As you guys can see, complementing the hero collecting and the RPG aspects is a kingdom management game as well. So here's my little cookie castle here. And throughout the day, I am gonna have to click on these little gingerbread houses here in order to get resources to level up my characters. Um, I have these little sugar cubes that I'm gonna have to queue up. Um, so far, I have not seen a way to instantly re-queue the entire board. Um, so you're gonna have to do 
them one by one by one. Hopefully that quality of life is coming. But yeah, this this game does have, you know, a kingdom management uh, aspect to it that is required. You cannot ignore it. All of these resources are going to be required to power up your kingdom and power up your cookies. So now I don't think it's so intrusive in this game that it becomes distracting. So if you're not really a big fan of like kingdom builders and empire builders, I still say give it a shot. And of course, just like all these little empire builder games, you're going to be trying to work on making your cookie castle look like there's a max level of 12 in the game right now. And there are going to be different requirements in order for you to complete before you can do that. Um, they might ask you to defeat a stage. They might ask you to put some decor on um, your little castle here. So there's a lot of really cool themes. I think I might go deep with the witches and ghosts or like the ice kingdom here. Oh, they got a juice salon. Dude, where's the bar? <laughs> so a lot of different themes here. So you can really make your little cookie kingdom pretty much anything you want. So this is a reason why, even if you don't like Empire Builder, City Builder style games, the level of customization that Cookie Run Kingdom gives you dwarfs all of those games. There's like not a single one of those little Empire Builder games out there that allow you to have this much flexibility and creativity when it comes to building your kingdom. Most of those games have predestined slots that you have to put certain buildings in. This game is not like that at all. So 100% I definitely say give this game a shot so outside of the gameplay modes that i showed you the kingdom management um there's also a few other things here like a tree of wishes where you know throughout the day um the game is going to ask you to fulfill these little orders here you do that you're going to get these rewards you don't have to do them all day so once you hit max rewards you can stop doing it thankfully <laughs> um, and then build up resources for tomorrow that way it's much more easy um you of course have your tried and true dispatch mode and look at this dude i don't even have enough cookies to go on a voyage i gotta do some summons <laughs> um and i assume there's going to be even more unlocked as i continue to traverse through the game but like i said before i was starting to struggle a little bit man i have to do some summons so let's go ahead and jump on in um so right now there is a focus banner for espresso cookie um, a good old-fashioned generic banner. You have treasures, which I'll show you once we actually get some new characters, and a free daily gift. So let's go ahead and see what type of luck we have. This is my very first time seeing the summon animation. And I gotta say I'm a fan. Oh, well, it's, it's still going. <laughs> it's still going. All right. So you use a little gingerbread tin. Dude, this is like the longest summon animation I've ever seen. <laughs> Gumball cookie. Let's add some color in here. Ha <laughs> ha! I like it. <laughs> very, very nice. Oh, there's a. This is a shard base hero collector. I didn't know it was a shard base hero collector, but I'm gonna assume, based on you know other games in the world, if you do a ten pool, you're always gonna get at least a full character. I assume. I completely made that up though. <laughs> I have no idea. All right, wizard cookie, that's one I already have, so I'm gonna get some shards for, for him to build him up a little further. And then more shards. All right, so got it, got it. Let's keep on going. I got a lot, I'm gonna go ahead and rapid fire the rest of these because I wanna see what we can get. Oh, nice, knight cookie. Dude, he's a mounted cookie. Not enough mounted heroes in the world. Uh oh, is this it? There, he, they just talked about coffee, so is this espresso? Yes, it is. <laughs> Very, very cool. Dude, I really do like the aesthetic design choice they went with here with these cookies. I know this is not the first time there's been a game in this IP. I know this IP has been around for a while, but what a cool, what a cool little design here. I, I really do like it. Very, very nice. And I'm glad they, you know, finally put out a hero collector. That way I can take advantage of <laughs> onion cookie. <laughs> it's a crying cookie. I'm glad they finally made a game that I actually want to play. Um, all the other games in the cookie world, I never had a interest in, uh, but obviously this is like right up my alley. Blackberry cookie, very nice. Blackberry is such an underrated fruit, my friend. If you can find yourself a blackberry margarita, it'll change your life. <laughs> and then one last multi pool here. Then I got a bunch of duplicates. Very, very nice. So, oh, of course they give me a pop up. I knew it. All right, so. I got this little cookie here, espresso cookie. So there's a few different things you can do here. Of course, you can level up your cookie. Nice little quality of life there. Just hit max, hit level up. 
you're ready to go. Um, I do always appreciate a game that has a very quick summon to usable time. You guys know what I mean by that? Like you summon a brand new character, the time it takes for you to have that character in combat is extremely short. Like right now I'm ready to go. I can also upgrade her skills here as well. This is that skill powder that I was talking about a little bit earlier. You'll grind that every day and that powder is gonna be used to power up that skill. Um, there's also toppings as well. But as you guys can definitely see here with cookie toppings, it's exactly like rune systems in other games. So if I have two of these little attack speed cookies, that's gonna give me an equipment two bonus and then if I equip five that's gonna give me equipment five bonus which gives me an additional two percent attack speed so equip these cookies on your cookie and then upgrade them to make them more powerful like I said this is a tried and true rune system that you've seen before um, but that is it like is once you get your cookie upgrade them, promote them, put some toppings on them, and they're ready to jump into combat, which I love to see. Um, but that is it, my friends, Cookie Run Kingdom. I got a lot of work to do now that I finally got some new cookies here. Um, so I'm gonna continue leveling, continue decorating, Really fun little game thus far, highly recommend it. And the Battle Pass, AKA the Kingdom Pass is only $4.99, what a good deal. So I am out guys and I will see you in the next video. Nice game.